And India is taking new steps to curb violent crime here in Indianapolis with peacekeepers. Yeah, uh, there's a dozen of them, dozens of them are going to be out in the street uh, throughout the week. And one of those people is going to be Mayor Hogshead, who joins us live this morning. He's with our Karen Campbell right now talking about the initiative. Karen? Hey, good morning, guys. Yes, Mayor Hogsett joining me now inside of uh, Channel 13 Studios here. So thank you very much, first of all, for waking up with us this morning. Glad to be here. So now this is a plan uh, that you uh, sort of introduced in the fall. So 35 peacemakers are going to be hitting the streets of Indianapolis, helping to curb the violence. So how positive are you that this is the step in the right direction to help Well, it's this? certainly one uh, important investment uh, in our in our effort to make the streets of Indianapolis safer. And it's 35 peacemakers who will begin next Monday. Uh, they are trained, ready to go, and deployed throughout the, the community. Hopefully by the summer we'll have more than 50 peacemakers uh, deployed throughout the city. And the, their responsibilities are, in essence, to reduce and intervene before violence occurs. Uh, and what they will do is help people who are either likely to become victims of gun violence or are likely perpetrators of gun violence. And so this is an important step uh, for our community to take to try to prevent the violence from happening before it happens. So we know that we ended last year on a record high with homicides, 271. So how confident are you that, I mean, this is the step in the right direction? Because there's so many people that are just frustrated and tired at the violence. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that, um, that all of these steps that we're taking are very important steps forward, not just adding 50 peacemakers who will be deployed throughout the community. We're going to be adding 100 police officers. We're investing nine million dollars into modern police technology. We've uh, allocated 30 million dollars for mental health services throughout the community. And then of course the 45 million dollars that over the next three years we will be investing in community oriented neighborhood based uh, anti-violence crime reduction efforts. And I think comprehensively uh, in the short term and over the long term, it will make a difference. Right, so three years, whose idea was that? Is that just based on the, the, the federal allocation of funding? That's right. Okay. Uh, one of the things that the American Rescue Plan allows us to do is use the federal uh, monies over a three-year period of time. If you'll remember during the COVID crisis when we uh, got the CARES Act funding, had to be spent in one year. Now we have three years to invest, and I think it'll make a profound difference in the city of Indianapolis. All right, so goals to look forward to as we enter a new year. Yes. All right, thank yes. you so very thank much, you. Mayor Hogshead. All right, so you heard it first. Uh, these 35 peacemakers will hit the streets next Monday, and again, an additional 15. They will be trained as well to eventually join the other 35 peacemakers. Guys, back to you. All right, Karen and Mayor, thank you so much. And we are getting all of this information posted online for you, including this interview with Mayor Hogsett. You can just go to WTHR.com or open our news app.